How's it going people? For today's video, we're going to take a look at everything that came with today's update. When it comes to Save the World, we didn't get anything new, which was kind of expected. Normally Save the World doesn't get any content with updates like this one, but it is possible we may see some changes with the next update. I believe the only thing we're getting this week in Save the World is the return of Four Leaf Wildcat. She should be available in the events shop when it resets later this week. I believe we have reviewed her before. I'll leave a link to that review in the description, but I don't really consider her to be one of the best heroes, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend maxing her out. If anything, you may just want to get her for your collection book. Also, a quick reminder that the Cram Session event is currently available, and I believe that's going to last for another two weeks. But I believe that's everything we're going to get this week when it comes to Save the World. There is a new mode in BR called Floor is Lava, and there are some rewards you can get from this mode. Once you complete three quests, you'll get a spray. When you complete six, you'll get another spray. And when you complete 12 Floor is Lava quests, you'll get this Golden Shark pickaxe. There's also some free items available from the Rise of Midas quest, and they're not all available yet. Here's when the rest of the quest will become available. So if you complete six of those, you'll get the Cerberus Medallion Spray. Once you complete 12 of these quests, you'll get the Rose of Avarice Back Bling. And when you complete 18, you'll get the Queen and Gold Glider. So you can get two sprays, a pickaxe, another spray, a back bling, and a glider for free from these Midas quests. So those are all of the free rewards that you can earn after today's update. And last thing I want to point out in regards to Midas is that the Ascendant Midas skin, which is this skin right here, will be available in the item shop on March 26th. So he'll be available one week from today. You can get the skin for free if you compete in the Rise of Midas Cup on March 24th. The players who earn the most points in each region will get the skin for free and the Golden King's Cape back bling. But if you're able to earn at least eight points in that cup, then you get the Rise of Midas loading screen, which is this one right here. And that's how you get enough points to get those free rewards. And that sums up all the free rewards I could find with today's update. Also, here's a list of new jam tracks that are added to Fortnite Festival with today's update. But I believe the main purpose of today's update was to add UEFN support for both Rocket Racing and LEGO Fortnite. And speaking of LEGO Fortnite, we did get quite a few leaks in regards to upcoming weapons. One is called the Propomatic, which I believe can turn people into props. So if you want to make a prop hunting mode in LEGO Fortnite, I believe that's a weapon you can use to do it. It looks like there's also a chance we could get the Chimera Ray Gun. And here's what that Ray Gun looks like. There's also a chance we could get a goo gun, and I'm not sure if it's the same one that we saw in BR, but if it is, then this is what it would look like. There's also a chance we could get a snowball launcher, and here's what the snowball launcher looks like in Save the World, so I would assume it would look similar. There's also a chance we could get a flint knock, as well as AI spawners. So those are some of the new weapons you can expect to see in LEGO Fortnite. Now they did provide images of each of these weapons but I'm not sure which is which so I'm just gonna show each of the pictures while talking about them they also added some play sets to Lego Fortnite UEFN and I believe these are just items you can add to your Lego Fortnite UEFN if you made one some of these items may be included in building sets that they may sell in the future or they could possibly give us these new buildings for free but all of these play sets should be available in lego fortnite uefn and here's a couple more images showing what those play sets look like in game see it looks like we got a stage it's also like a, a music symbol statue it's also a couple of tents some balloons some bleachers as well as some speakers a rainbow see in this next image i don't even know what the hell is going on here but a bunch of colorful walls with this play set uh, this next one looks sort of like a neighborhood uh, you can see some new houses as well as a new garage and in this last one it's just an island so apparently you can get some islands in lego fortnite uefn now and that sums up all the information we have in terms of lego fortnite and that's pretty much everything we got with today's update so yeah we didn't really get a whole lot of content but let me know what you all think about today's update in the comments below i do plan on checking out the floor is lava mode on twitch so be sure to follow if you'd like to hang out with us also i've been thinking about giving away some of these lego building sets 
that cost V bucks. For those who don't know, you can build these Lego building sets in up to eight different worlds every week. So I was thinking about doing a stream on Twitch where we'll invite people who want these buildings, but who don't necessarily have the building sets to build them. I think we may do a stream where we'll build these buildings for people. So be sure to follow on Twitch if you haven't already. Also, for those who don't know, we do have a Discord and it mainly includes people from the Save the World community and Lego Fortnite community. We also got some BR players as well, but if you would like to meet other people who play Save the World or Legos, or if you need help with anything in either of those modes, be sure to join our Discord. Link will be in the description and tell them A1 sent you. Yeah, tell, tell myself that I sent you. <laughs> also, before I go, I did want to give a huge shout out to everybody who's been using Creator Code A1. Anyways, I hope y'all have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.